guys, it's Saturday afternoon, thought I'd appear on camera for once. I've got a new camera, JVC. Thought I'd give it a try today, see how it goes. I'm not going to do a camera review, I <laughs> just thought I'd give it a go, got it off eBay. Better than that one I was using last week, so uh, I'm going to give it a go. I'm in that same field I was in last week, I don't know if you can see it behind me. Uh, hopefully going to pull some out of here today. I've been getting a lot of relics, musket balls and stuff like that, but... I don't know, might be enamoured, might be another coin in here, who knows? So, uh, thanks for watching, and oh, just before I go, uh, I want to give a shout out to CT Relic Digger. I'll put links in the description box below, and there'll be a, a subscription icon at the end. So, stay to the end, click on it, uh, give him a subscription, great guy, great guy, talk to him on Twitter a lot. So, uh, thanks for watching, and join me on the next haul. Hi guys, first find. <laughs> Not a very good one. There's loads of this in this field. Tiny, tiny, tiny fractions of lead. You can see it there. No detail on this. Just a tiny fraction. Give off a belting signal on the uh, on the Euro Ace. Do we say where there's bits of lead? There could be Roman. So you never know. I should carry on the hunt for the Roman, the Saxon. I'd like a, a hammered in here, but to no avail at the moment. Thanks for watching, join me on the next haul. Hi guys, next find. Oh, this is unbelievable, this. Just shows in this field what what, what the difference is. There's no coins right, hardly, but... <coughs> oh, I apologise. But the, there's lots of little relics and stuff. Look at this. What a cracking little buckle. It's even got the pencil in the back. Look at that. What a belting little buckle. Oh, I'm pleased with that. It's going to be one of the best buckles I've found this year so far. It's very light. Gave off a strange... When it was in the hole, it gave off a strange signal. I almost wasn't going to dig it. It was like a, a tin can kind of signal, but... Just shows you. Dig it out. It's awesome, I don't know what age of that is, I'm not a uh, buckle aficionado, so if anybody's watching this video, knows the age of this buckle, pop a comment in the bottom, click the subscribe on the way past, let me know how old that is, medieval again maybe, I'm not sure, it's very, very light, very light, I mean I should imagine that buckle, would, the, the, the pin would fold over this side I'd say, I don't really want to try and break it, so look at that. Awesome buckle. Thanks for watching. Join me on the next hole. Hi guys. Next finds this. It's awesome. I, I, I don't know if that's like a, a a buckle off a locket or something or a, a buckle itself it's got some lovely design to it you see it there oh that's nice okay, so it, look, it looks like some kind of latch for something see all the uh, it's, it's, it's been squashed in I'm oh, pleased with that. Again, that when it was in the hole, it didn't give off a... Uh, it does now, but it didn't when it was in the hole. It didn't give off a brilliant signal. Okay, it's going to be one of those uh, interesting locket and um, button days. No uh, sign of the hammered yet, but uh, I should get... <laughs> still early doors. It's still early doors as you keep looking. Or a coin of some... Like I say, there's not many coins in here at all. Not I think I found two total. One of them was last week, so um, which I made a mistake on that video last week in the right up I put Edward the Eighth, and it wasn't actually Edward the Eighth; it was Edward the Seventh. Edward the Eighth was uh, the Edward who ran off with Mrs. Simpson. Edward and Mrs. Simpson. I don't know if you've seen the movie, but that was uh, Edward the Eighth was. Uh, okay, thanks for watching, and please join me on the next haul.
Hi guys, next find. <laughs> I thought show. I don't know why I'm showing this. There we go. Can't have a hunt without one. You cannot have a hunt without one. Cow tube. And cow tube. What can you say about them? Them are the vein of my life, these things. Vein of my life. I found one of those. If you, if you go back to some of my earlier videos in the woods. I found one in the middle of the woods. A cow tube in the middle of the woods. How it got there, how long it had been there, I don't know. Couch is not even a gold one. Sometimes you find gold coloured ones, it's just a normal white one. That's a bit of rubbish. I was talking to Max yesterday about these. Max Depth Metal Detecting. Go check him out if you can. I'll put a link in the description box at the bottom for Max's channel. Yeah, bloody cow tube. Thanks for watching. Join me on the next hole. Okay, next find guys. I don't know what you think this is. There you go. I don't know if it's a badly made spoon. A small shovel. Give me fines for that. It's heavy. It's well made, whatever it is, was, could still be. Anybody got any ideas? A robot's foot? Who knows? Oh. Thanks for watching. Join me on the next hole. Hi guys, next find. Standard fare, these are sometimes to metal detectors. Horse buckle or horse tack. Would have looked for that grind in its day, all brassed up. Some of them, you find the older ones, you can find up like initials. Perhaps the horse's name. But this horse had no name. He must have been called Mr. Ed. <laughs> That's what it is. Just all special off a belting signal. But these look fantastic when they're cleaned up. Thanks for watching. Join me on the next hole. Hi guys. Just sitting here enjoying a bit of sunshine. I don't need for a good while. Just thought I'd pop on and tell you about an intending giveaway I intend to do for a thousand. A thousand subscribers. I've been stuck at about 650 for ages and I want to get up to a thousand. So um, I intend to give away the video camera I was using last week. I'm not happy with it. Um, it's not a massively expensive one, but I'm not going to use it because I've got another three now. So I mean, I'm going to give it away. And a little finds box with some silvers in for second, so it's going to be a first in a second place. That'll be for a thousand subscribers. I need to get there. Been dragging at 650 for far too long now. So, I think there's no massive thing about getting to a thousand, but just want to get to a thousand. I mean, I've, um, I've stopped running ads on my videos now because, well, there's no point. There's no point. I'm not going to reach that target by the 20th of February, so, you know, there's no point. So you can enjoy ad-free videos for now. <laughs> and, uh, like I say, when I get a bit closer, maybe 800, 850, I'll do a video showing you what the prize will be. But it's a decent video camera for anybody starting out. Anybody wants to get into the hobby of uh, metal detecting and filming or just filming anything or nice little hobby camera and... Noticed all the cars have decided to come past now. I've started filming, so uh, keep an eye out for that video. And uh, like I say, please subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the videos. Thanks again for watching. Hi guys, next find. First one for today. I was wondering when I was going to get one of these. Musket ball. These are all at the top. There's none, none down the bottom, down there. They're just all at the top. Not hit anything. Looks like somebody's been chewing on it. <laughs> Medieval piece of chewing gum. <laughs> and musky ball. Yeah, fair weight to it. I like finding these. Shows some sort of activity. Even if not a lot. They weren't dropping coins. They were dropping musky balls. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Jump in the next hole. Hi guys, 
Next find. What on earth is that? What? Gave off a... When it was in the ground, he gave off a good signal. Gun. I don't know. Looks like a bit of a gate or something. Oh well. Yeah. Never mind. We all have to find the iron. Maybe it's a bee. Found a D. Oh no, it could be a D, couldn't it? If I turn it that way. There you go. <laughs> Deck. There's two Ds I've found so far in this field. Sorry, D. Thanks for watching. Join me on the next hole. Hi guys. Next find. Lovely little spoon. Lovely little teaspoon. Oh, pleased with that. Bringing the treasures today, aren't I? <laughs> little teaspoon. Shame it's not silver, but it's got to be a top half of that somewhere. I bet you further up this track or somewhere across here, there's a, there's a, I'll find like a thin end bit of spoon if I haven't found it already. Brilliant. Shame it's not silver, but I can make me tea with that tonight. Stir me tea up. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Jump in the next hole. Hi guys, gonna call it a day for today. Sun's starting to set there. Lovely sunset. You see all that of them trees. Uh, look at this camera, a good go. Give this uh, your ways a good go. Still doing well. The rainbow over there somewhere. I've been digging in the wrong field again. <laughs> Sorry there was no coins, but what do you do? They're either there or they're not. Nothing I can do. I've had some good finds. Those two uh, buckles at the start were really good. They were nice finds. So, I'd like to say thanks again uh, for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And please join me on the next hunt. Bye.